Hey guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, Apple released iOS 14.3 Developer Beta 1. And now it's been kind of tricky today because 14.3 Beta 1 was released by Apple to developers in the Apple Developer Portal. Then about 20 minutes later, they removed it and then they reinstated it and then they removed it once again. But I do have some information to share with you guys. This is going to be a quick overall first view. Of course, once I have the full software installed on this device, I'll give you guys an entire breakdown of everything that's new but there's actually some interesting stuff that i want to share with you guys today so let's dive right in 14.3 developer beta 1 brings one new feature to iphone 12 that we know of so far and that is the photo capture apple pro raw now this in a simple terms this captures more dynamic range this is a 12-bit uh, file that allows you to have more flexibility when you go to edit so it is a pro feature for the new cameras of the new iphone 12s and you do have an extension in settings where you can toggle this feature on and off sort of like the 4k feature where you can tap on the top right and change it from 4k 60 frames to 30 frames it's the same uh, ui if you will and you see the button here on the top right you can tap it to enable it and disable it in the photo settings for your iPhone. And now 9 to 5 Mac does have provide for us additional information on 14.3 beta 1. There's a few glyphs that show a key, a backpack, some luggage, a bicycle, and this is all pertaining to air tags. We know that air tags are soon to be released by Apple. So on 14.3, we see some of the first glyphs hidden within the software. And this hints that air tags will most likely be coming as the release of 14.3 rolls out as well. So we'll have to keep an eye on that as well. Now there's also additional glyphs that show off new headsets. Now new headsets are rumored to be coming from Apple. The new AirPod Studios, which are also rumored to be launching uh, early next year. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. But again, there's glyphs here. Thanks to 9to5Mac for providing this information. And uh, so far, that's what I have. A new feature for iPhone 12, which is the Apple Pro Raw, and some of the glyphs that are now available hitting in 14.3 that hint at new products coming out soon. Stay tuned here to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already for a full breakdown and coverage of everything new with 14.3. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.